What's up everybody and happy new year. Today we're going to take a close look at the platinum balls from Dynasphere. As you can see the ball set comes with two template racks, one for 10 and 8 ball and one for 9 ball. It also comes with a microfiber cloth to clean the balls. This being the platinum set, oh, I really like even the box, uh, you know, you've got a hologram platinum sticker right there and it even has like a metal clasp or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it really makes the ball set look really exclusive and when you open it up, obviously you can see there is some difference in the color. The price is 340 and uh, we're going to take a closer look on how these uh, look compared to the more regular ball sets from Aramith. These are the tournament edition and we're also going to take a look at the good old fashioned super pro edition. Here you can see the three sets side by side and obviously there are some color differences and uh, when it comes to the weight difference, if you compare one ball from Dinosaur to one ball from Aramith, the weight difference is equivalent to the weight of a dollar bill. Or if you want to compare the weight difference um, to the entire rack, it would be equivalent to the weight of a CD. Obviously, Aramid uses the red dots and the Dinosaur uses uh, a rotor or a propeller design on their cue ball. And here I'm going to try to beat Florian Kohler's 2019 record of 23 seconds spinning the cue ball. Obviously, he's improved that by a lot now. So um, if I beat his time, it's really not a big thing. Uh, however, I did not beat his time. My cue ball spun for 21 seconds so well at least i tried and i got pretty close i really like the templates that comes with this ball set the eight ball or ten ball template is rather big but you'll get used to it so let's see how these balls play for the first rack i'm going to try to talk you through how i'm thinking when i'm playing so all right so i got ball in hand and i played uh, straight in one ball made sure that i got straight in on the three so i can just draw back a little bit to get the correct angle on the four ball so i can use the tangent line to avoid the nine ball and keep an angle for the five ball so on the five ball i'm planning to move forward but i could draw it back if i wanted but i went forward because i wanted to get pretty straight in on the six ball because of the position of the seven ball i got straight in now i just need to draw far enough and even if i draw too far i could always make it in the corner now i just do a short little follow making sure i've got an angle for the eight ball so i can just float over for the nine ball and by the way if you find a hair or whatever just start over uh, like i did here so anyway i got the little angle i wanted on the eight ball so i could just float over making the nine ball rather easy so when you make these nine balls just play them with confidence you should not baby the money ball so this footage is from uh, an actual challenge match i actually do that a couple of times a week so if you want to be notified click that notification bell and you can watch me play live it can actually be beneficial for you to subscribe to this channel um if you stick around to the end of this uh, video, I'll tell you how and what I'm going to give away next. So yeah, everybody knows that Aramith is the big, big uh, player in this uh, market. I wouldn't say that uh, Dinosphere balls are better, but I wouldn't say that they are worse either. So it's totally up to you guys if you like the color, if you like the... Um, Kind of like rotor design i can definitely tell you that they are not playing uh, any worse however i've only been playing with them for about a month maybe six weeks so i cannot you know give my opinion on how durable they are uh, if they're gonna chip if they're gonna lose their color I don't know yet, but uh, I'll keep you posted on that. But in terms of uh, how they play, uh, they play great. The weight, you cannot notice the, the, the microscopic difference between uh, the Dinosaur balls and the Aramid balls. Uh, you would have to be super, super sensitive. And maybe you are, but I did not notice it at all. Um, so, um, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I would definitely give them a, a, a shot. 
it's interesting with the new colors uh, I like the design I like the propeller uh, so I like basically everything about these balls so um, I'm looking forward to having played with them for maybe half a year or whatever to see how they hold up uh, against the arid balls that obviously are very durable and the market leader Obviously, Shane Van Bonick would never be the ambassador of a bad product. It takes 23 days to manufacture these. It goes through 49 different steps, so I'm totally expecting him to hold up. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I try to make weekly review videos, and uh, we're also on Facebook, so if you want to consider following us there, that would be awesome. So listen guys, every single penny that this channel makes, it's gonna go right back to you. As of now, it's about $200. It's not a whole lot, but the channel is rather new. So whenever we reach $300, I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. And uh, for the next $300, I'm gonna do the same. So the more you watch, the better for all of us.